This palette right here, if it doesn't scream holiday palette, if it doesn't scream holiday party, New Year's Eve, all in one with a little bit of everyday shades, I don't even know what to tell you. But let me just say that um, I'm happy to have this. And you know, I was out of town. I went out of town for homecoming and I knew my palette had been delivered. And I live in a small condo building and it's never usually an issue with packages. So it was delivered by USPS and my neighbor that kind of looks out for me, she was just like, yeah, they were by like more of the post, you know, our boxes. And so she was like, I scooted it over to your door. And she was like, it was that another package. And I knew I had another palette from Notoriously Morbid that I've been waiting on that pre-order forever. And then now I'm getting home and I'm like, where's my stuff? Where's some stuff, okay? So I'm upset, I'm looking for it, I'm thinking somebody stole it, but I'm hoping for the best at the same time that, you know, maybe somebody just picked it up, but I'm like, why would you pick it up? Just, just leave it right where it's supposed to be, okay? But luckily, I had a neighbor who was out of town also, and she sent a friend to pick up her packages, and she grabbed mine as well so she was like yeah they're back downstairs and I was like thank you praise God because y'all know how I feel about my eyeshadow palettes okay they I, I want them you know I plan out what I'm gonna buy so I can present it on my channel because I'm only buying stuff that you know I'm interested in and you know I love me some Adept Cosmetics and let's be honest you know Adept Cosmetics sells that on like 2.3 seconds and I had to be in the corner you know trying to get my palette <laughs> so ain't nobody got time for this okay so let's get started with the video hey guys this is Ashley welcome on back to my channel so after my long rant you know we are talking about the Adept Cosmetics newest addition to their family of palettes or eyeshadow palettes and this is the makeup palette so true to Adept Cosmetics, we have this beautiful, sleek, faux leather packaging. And once you open it up, it has these gorgeous, gorgeous jewel tones. Like I said, it is really screaming. Holiday, holiday to me, holiday parties, New Year's Eve. But before I go ahead and get carried away, because, you know, filming is an adventure around here. Let me just put this down to drop it okay, before I get carried away let me go ahead and introduce myself if you are new to this channel welcome and if you're only but goodie, welcome on back my name is Ashley I have a doctor in a pharmacy and I love makeup so that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup and eyeshadow is my jam it is one of my most favorite things to talk about but please just call me Ash or Ashley and like I just mentioned I love me some Adept Cosmetics and I knew when I saw the leaks for this palette or little snippets and the preludes I was like yep I want it, okay? So, true fashion, we have these gorgeous, gorgeous foil shimmers, and then we have two mattes. So usually, you know, she has done that before. I really wasn't expecting the mattes to be purple. I thought that was a nice twist. I don't know if I thought it was gonna be brown or what, but like if you think about the Nanhydra and the Kodan palette, also, um, yeah, Nana Hydra and Kodan, they have two mattes. Plain Jane doesn't have anything in there. It's just straight up shimmers. But I just knew, like, I was like, oh, the purple, it just kind of gives it a different flair, okay? In addition, when I think about this palette, do you guys remember, I don't know, if you guys remember the Jouer Skinny Dip palette? This palette right here just kind of gives me an elevated version of the Skinny Dip palette. Do I even have that palette in my collection still? Unfortunately, Skinny Dip has been decluttered from my collection. I thought it did, but I had to double check. But I was just like, pop a picture up of it right here. But they had some beautiful shimmers and they were like jewel tones and silvers and golds and pewters. And this palette just gave me an elevated version of that in an interesting twist, especially when we got these two multi-chromes. So you do have a wide variety of finishes in this palette. And, and also included with the packaging, for the first time I can remember the letters are actually not embossed on the palette. Palette. They're actually like placed on the palette with, as you can see, and they're raised 
up above the palette. So I thought that that was a nice little touch. Now, when I read from the um, Adept Cosmetics website, there are a whole host of things that you should know before buying the palettes, but they're pretty much standard with all of her palettes. And unfortunately, the palette really isn't available at the moment, but it is. It is available for pre-order. And this is actually the second pre-order. So this pre-order will actually start to ship as of December 25th. And if they can get it out to you any quicker, she will. Um, the palette pretty much sold out. I got this as the first round purchase that was available so it was not a pre-order and then a pre-order opened up immediately after the palette sold out and this palette actually sold out within seconds I do not play when it comes to the Dev Cosmetics I am quick with it I'm like I'm gonna have alarm set I'm gonna know I'm gonna get to the website and be ready to go when it's time to purchase this palette actually retails for $57 which is pretty much on par with a lot of her other palettes. So um, the palette is described to be, have a palette full of extremely sparkly shimmers, which I definitely think is true because look, look at, look, just look, okay? You have dual chromes, multi chromes, and various different textures. And there are two matte shades included to complement your look. But of course, like you just pull in some mattes. And actually I decided to do that for this look because I know a lot of people talked about it, but I just wanted you to see the versatility of the shades. Um, the formula is actually 100% glitter free. So I actually really enjoy that about depth adept cosmetics because you know the glitter it can be unsafe for the eyes and cause a lot of irritation to people's eyes okay and the formula is also vegan talc free glitter free bht free and does not contain mineral oil okay so of course she always recommends that you use definitely an eyeshadow base with this palette you also go ahead and use some type of glitter primer for the best performance of the shadows and that you should probably also just use your uh fingers in order to apply these shimmer shades now you can use a brush if you are a person that prefers a brush but honestly i'm like i really probably prefer brushes more but i've just gotten to the point that i'm like yeah in order to get the best performance just let me go ahead and use my finger and then go ahead and manipulate the shades where i need to go with a brush after that and the pans are actually magnetic so if you're a person that loves to like mix and match shadows take them on a row with you you're able to do that as well and each pan is approximately 2.5 to 3 grams so if you want any additional information you can go always go over to the website and her palettes are made in China and it's like a special uh, certified standard lab with purity expectations at the top quality and things that um, that's always usually been standard for the adept cosmetics palettes so of course, I have three looks for you today, and we're going to talk about my thoughts in between. Of course, we're going to wrap up in, at the very end of the video, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. My eyebrows are filled in using my Goof Proof Pencil, shade 3.75. I did switch it up for my eyeshadow primer today. I went in with the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Primer, and this is the shade... Uh, shade number two. So it is pretty close to my complexion. So I am really excited to play with these jewel tones. So let's see what I come up with. Ooh.
All right, for the second look, I'm gonna go in back with my favorite <laughs> eye primer, which is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, because it's more of my skin complexion, and I don't like how the shade Toya, which is the light purple shade, is appearing with this particular primer. So I think it's just not popping, and it's very light underneath here, so. I'm just gonna try it out with this primer and we'll see what the outcome is. Of course, you already know what I'm gonna say. Look, these looks are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Really, really just gorgeous, okay? So, the mattes are pretty. I just think that Toya is maybe just a little light. I would like it to see a little bit more pigmented. This is the shade Toya right here this light uh, lilac purple shade. Now this shade, uh, Maria, is really pretty. It is more of a shade that you have to actually build up. You know, it's not gonna come out just to be out the gate, you know, really impactful. So I do like that. I think that it's also gonna be good for people who are intimidated by shades that are just so deeply pigmented at first and they have to do a lot of work to blend it out. But really gorgeous. I don't so much care Hair for this particular primer with the shades. I did go back in and add more of Maria, which is the deeper purple, because when I got ready to clean up my eyes, it was literally just white right here. And so I, I did not like that at all. Over here, I feel like it did better as far as the shade, but I just don't feel like it's inherently as lilac as I would like it to be. Now the shimmer shades, absolutely gorgeous as you see after I completed this look because it was just in my mind that I really wanted to use uh, the shade Selena and I really feel like Selena is just really really pretty along with that purple shade so I just really wanted to just put it next to the blue and I think next to the blue is absolutely stunning and it kind of just picks up with each other and it just kind of effortlessly go into each other and then having a little bit of a silver inner corner I believe oh I use Minka for that particular inner corner highlight this one 
So, but let me backtrack real quick. So as far as Luna, Luna does have more texture to it. Uh, using your finger will probably be the best. Of course, I use the glitter glue, but she always recommends that, usually with her palettes as far as the shimmers. And majority of shimmers like this, I would say definitely always use a glitter glue when it comes to these high impact foil shimmers that have mica in it, they're very reflective, or shimmers that are like dual chromes, multi chromes. I would say definitely put down a glitter glue. It will definitely increase the longevity of your eyeshadow, not to mention imp improve the performance of the shadow itself. So definitely a little bit more um, texture to it. Now, when I added Selena in there, Selena is very smooth. And then the same with the shade right here, which is Linda. Linda is just a beautiful dual chrome without doing too much, you know, where you're just like, oh, the impact is just too much. I think both of these looks are really, really stunning. For my face details, I kind of like, you know, pull something out the crates. <laughs> I hadn't used this in forever. This is my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation in the shade 385. So it's been a minute since I've used this. And I think also because my complexion was changing, which is being out in the sun so much, and I can radiate between a couple of shades, as you guys know, and I'm like more yellow sometimes versus more red. So now I'm just kind of like in the middle, but in a week and a half, actually when I went to homecoming, I think one day I was just like, okay, I feel like I have a tan just from one day of going to homecoming in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, and it was just maybe seven degrees, but I am going to Costa Rica in about a week. So, you know, I'll be back to a different shade, very red, like how my arms are. And uh, let's see, for the concealer, I went ahead and Dig dust out the crates too. <laughs> this is the Fenty Beauty Concealer, shade 370. For my bronzer, I took my good old Minted Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Vague Hay. I paired it along with the shade Night Bloom from Pat McGrath. This is no, that's not Night Bloom. This is Night Bloom. This is from Pat McGrath. It's one of those duo blushes that is just stunningly gorgeous. I thought the purple and the red would look nice with both of the looks. And then I paired it with the shade Venus Nectar uh, from Pat McGrath as well. She released this one as a single, I think when she, yeah, when she did the uh, combination br blushes. And for my lips, I went in with um, one of the Blimps Bunnies uh, cream liquid lipsticks that I tried out in the um, past video. Which, so this is the matte cream. This is the shade uh, Doll Face. So it's a pretty mauve. And then I paired it with the lip liner. I think I grabbed the lip liner to the other shade that's a little bit deeper, but the two work nice together. So overall, I feel like this look is stunning. My lashes are from Ardell. They're uh, 421 is one lone lash sitting right there, but the looks are absolutely stunning. The performance of the shadows, I did not have a problem. I didn't expect to have an issue. I mean, it's adept. You know what I mean? So what I do think I want to do though, because I know I thought this definitely originally, and I mean, it kind of also plays when you talk about an hydrant, you're talking about, um, Plain Jane, I don't have regular Plain Jane, but I have Plain Jane uh, Remix, Nin Hydrin, Kodan, and definitely Minka that, you know, it's kind of in a format where it's two mattes. So of course, with this particular palette, the two mattes are purple shades, but I know so many people have talked about in their videos, you can pull a brown into it or anything else. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you a little bit more versatility with the shades. And I'm gonna pull out my Blends Bunny uh, Dow House palette and I'll show you what that looks like because that is a palette that I love to pair with a lot of my shimmer palettes and I really enjoy it because you just get so many different colorful mattes. And I just wanna show, you know, the versatility of the palette so you don't feel like, oh, I'm just stuck with purple. Although purple for me, is a great color on my complexion. <laughs> so especially if you're a woman of color, like purple is just, it's our thing. So uh, I'm gonna show you the palette real quick and then we're gonna jump into a third look. So like I said, this is the Blend Bunny Dow House palette and I just, this palette is just so much fun. I really enjoy this palette. Got lots of rose shades. So I'm not gonna, sure, too, I'm not sure how far I'm going to steer off from the purple. I'll probably keep it maybe in the same range and maybe I'll add in some browns. I don't know. I'll figure that out in a second. But I just want, like I said, I would just want to show you the versatility so you feel like you're getting a lot of bang for your buck because, like I said, you know, you compare these shares, shades with 
anything and it's gonna be spectacular. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm back and this is the third and final look and I think it came out gorgeous so as I just mentioned before I went ahead and I used the blends bunny uh, Dow house palette because I just wanted to add a little brown in it but I didn't want to like stray too far away from the original roots of the palette so as you saw I went ahead and added this shade right here just to deepen it up and I put it on the outer part of the um, outer corner and then I went ahead and put Maria which was the dark uh, purple right here just so you can get it and I just went ahead and blended it out with Toya so I only actually added one shade to these two just so you can see like it doesn't take much to just kind of alter the tone of it so it still looks purple but then you have that brown and it got a little bit more deeper and smoky this shade right here Ava which is really calling to me if this look is not give like New Year's Eve if this look isn't giving like holiday party glam I don't even know what to tell you because like the whole palette really really is these jewel tones are really beautiful the formula is stunning once again I use some glitter glue to just help them in here and these particular shade had a little texture to it but it was it wasn't chunky and but it was still pretty smooth but what I will say is definitely just take a little bit do not load your finger up too much because it will come off probably like it has texture and a little bit just goes a long way and you're able to just kind of press it out across the whole lid and I think both of the looks came out gorgeous. I'm really excited about the other two looks. Well, both of the looks, <laughs> like all three of the looks came out really gorgeous with this palette. And I just think that this is like a perfect, I don't know if she necessarily meant this to be like a holiday palette, but it does give a lot of holiday vibes. I think you cannot go wrong. I think it's a fabulous palette. I would definitely say that you should go ahead and order this if you have not gotten it. I know that I got this actually on the initial launch of the palette and then she went ahead and did a pre-order and now I think we're on the second pre-order. So if you're thinking about that, I would go ahead and just pull, just go ahead. I mean, it's really gorgeous. You can do a lot of different looks. It's for the people who like neutral shadows. I do feel like you know, they're a little bit more elevated as far as they're going to be very sparkly and 
you know, it's not like everyday neutral, but it is really, really gorgeous. But you can definitely wear some of these shades every day. But like I said, you could also just very much so imp it up, give it like a little twist for a holiday party, which is which are definitely coming up. You can go ahead and add black. You can use the purple shades. You could mix and match with a lot of different shades if you want to just do browns. Um, but I think it's really, really gorgeous and really stunning. I was really excited to see this palette come out. And you know I was about to fight somebody when I thought somebody had stole my packages. But to, in my defense, my neighbor was like, I put them here. They sat there for days. And then they just up and walked away. But <laughs> I got them back. So I'm like, okay, thank you. Because I was about to be in tears. So just so you know, if anything happens like that, you know, usually these brands do have something like a small reserve. But I couldn't bank on that. Like Adept is so popular. And I just didn't know what the situation was going to be. And I was like, if I just got to order another one, man, and it comes like the week of December 25th. It is what it is, but I wanted this palette, you know what I mean? And so I passed up a few other releases because I knew this was coming out. So overall, I really enjoyed the palette. I think the color story is absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. Um, I, you'll probably see this come up in like maybe a um, palette rotation. I have started filming those again because I was like, it's time. <laughs> I had gotten away from it because I just gotten so busy. But yeah, I'm really happy about it. And I'll definitely keep you posted about the palette. Also in a palette ranking when I go ahead and talk about, you know, my experiences with palettes off camera. And once I get a chance to really get immersed in it, because there are quite a few shades that I did not get to play with. I know I probably played with some of the most popular, especially like these two down here, the blue. And then um, you also have these different jewel tones at the top. So they do look... You know, they look kind of the same, but they definitely have a lot of different tones in them. And so I think I'm okay with that with as far as because the dual tones and everybody will probably have their favorite, but I'm really in love with this pewter shade right here. I think it's absolutely stunning. So let me know what was your favorite look down below in the comments. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I will come out with another video, which will be soon. Subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chat dance. Chat dance. Ay, ay, ay. Chat dance. Chat dance. Ay. All right, y'all. I'll say to you later. Bye.